Hi everyone, I'm Lily. Before I dive into my story, please like and subscribe for more. All right, let's get into it. The music was thumping, lights flashing. It was the kind of party you'd see in movies. I was there with Jake, my boyfriend. We were having a great time, laughing and dancing. I remember feeling like I was on top of the world, with him by my side. Suddenly, Jake's face went pale. Oh no, is that her? He mumbled. Who? I asked trying to follow his gaze. My ex, he said, his eyes locked on a girl across the room. She was tall, glamorous, the type that turns heads. I tried to brush it off. Come on, let's not let that ruin our night. Jake was distracted, though. His usual charming self was gone, replaced by this anxious, distant guy. I felt a knot form in my stomach. This wasn't the Jake I knew. Hey, are you okay? I nudged him, hoping to snap him out of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just give me a sec, okay? He didn't even look at me, his focus still on his ex. I tried to enjoy the party, but it was hard with Jake acting so weird. And then, it happened. She approached us, her heels clicking on the floor like a timer ticking down. Jake! It's been so long! She exclaimed, her voice sugary sweet. I stood there awkwardly as they exchanged hellos. Jake seemed to have forgotten I existed. I'll just go get us some drinks. I offered, hoping to escape the tension. Sure, Jake said, but he was barely paying attention. At the bar, I took a deep breath. I could see them laughing and talking, like I wasn't even there. That's when it hit me. I was alone at a party with my boyfriend who seemed more interested in his ex than me. I didn't want to jump to conclusions, but my gut was telling me something was off. I waited, hoping Jake would come find me, but he never did. When I looked back, they were gone. That's when I decided, enough was enough. I wasn't going to be the girl who stood around waiting. I left the party, my heart heavy, but my head held high. Walking home, the cool night air helped clear my mind. I realized that I had been so caught up in being Jake's girlfriend. I'd forgotten about being Lily. It was time to refocus on myself, on what made me happy. I had always been passionate about my art, about creating something beautiful from nothing. It was time to get back to that, to put my energy into something that wouldn't leave me feeling empty. The night of the party was a turning point for me. I had been abandoned, yes, but I also found a new sense of determination. I wasn't going to let Jake or anyone else define my worth. I was Lily, kind and ambitious, and I was going to show the world just what I was capable of. Stay tuned for the next chapter of my journey, and remember, like and subscribe for more. In the weeks following that party, my life took a turn. I dove into my work, my art, creating pieces that were more me than ever before. I wasn't just passing time, I was making something of it. At the office, my designs were getting noticed. I remember the day my boss, Mr. Simmons, called me into his office. I thought I was in trouble or something. Lily, your latest designs, they're outstanding. We're thinking of featuring them in our next major campaign. I was floored. Really? Thank you, Mr. Simmons, that means a lot. And keep it up. You're going places, Lily. I left his office with a grin. Who would have thought that heartbreak would lead to a career boost? But it wasn't all work. I started attending self-defense classes. That's where I met Ava, the instructor. She was this fierce, no-nonsense kind of woman. Someone you'd want on your side in a fight. Remember, it's not about strength, it's about technique, Ava would say. I struggled at first, but Ava didn't let me give up. You've got this, Lily. Push through. Her belief in me, it was infectious. I found myself getting stronger, more confident. Then there were the calls from Jake. He'd leave voicemails, send texts, all trying to worm his way back in. Hey, Lily, it's Jake. I've been thinking a lot, and I'm really sorry about what happened. Can we talk? I listened to his messages, each word making my resolve stronger. Sorry, wasn't going to cut it. Not this time. I never responded. One day, while working late at the office, a colleague, Tom, noticed Jake's unopened texts on my phone. That guy still bugging you? Tom asked, leaning against my desk. Yeah, but I'm not giving him the satisfaction of a response. Good for you, Lily. You deserve better. It was in those small moments, those bits of support from the people around me, that I found the strength to keep moving forward. My life was mine again, and I was making the most of it. Meanwhile, Jake's attempts to reach me grew more desperate. But I was done. 
done with the drama, the uncertainty. I was building a life that was all about me and my happiness. The weeks turned into months, and I found myself not just surviving, but thriving. My art was getting recognized, my confidence was at an all-time high, and I had new friends who saw me for me, not just as someone's girlfriend. I remember thinking back to that party, to the moment Jake chose to leave me alone. It felt like a lifetime ago. I had come so far, grown so much. I wasn't the same Lily anymore. And the best part? I was just getting started. As I laid in bed that night, I realized something important. Life is unpredictable and often unfair, but it's how we respond to those challenges that define us. I chose to rise above the hurt and betrayal, to become a stronger, better version of myself. In a cozy corner of my favorite local cafe, I was sipping on my latte, flipping through a design magazine. That's when I heard a familiar voice. It was Jake. My heart skipped a beat, not out of excitement, but more like caution. Lily, is that you? Jake's voice was tinged with surprise and something else. Regret, maybe? I looked up to see him standing there with her, his ex. Oh, hey, Jake, I said, my tone neutral. We've been trying to reach you, Jake started, but I cut him off. Yeah, I know. I've been busy. Jake glanced at his ex, then back at me. Can we sit? We need to talk. I sighed, closing my magazine. Fine, but make it quick. They sat down, the ex looking uncomfortable, like she wished she was anywhere but here. Listen, Lily, I've been a mess without you, Jake began, his eyes pleading. That's not my problem anymore, Jake. It's just... I made a mistake. I see that now. I couldn't help but let out a small laugh. You think? Lily, please, Jake said, reaching out his hand, but I pulled back. No, Jake. You made your choice that night. And so did I. Jake looked defeated, his ex fidgeting in her seat. I've moved on, Jake. I suggest you do the same. As I stood up to leave, I saw the realization in Jake's eyes. He knew he'd lost me for good. Goodbye, Jake. Walking out of that cafe, I felt a weight lift off my shoulders. I was finally, truly free. The city felt different as I strolled through the streets. I saw things I never noticed before. The vibrant graffiti. The way the sunlight danced through the leaves. It was like I was seeing the world through new eyes. I bumped into Ava, my self-defense instructor, on the street. Lily, how you holding up? Ava's concern was genuine. I'm good, actually. Just ran into Jake. And? I told him it's over for good. That's my girl. Strong and independent. Ava and I laughed, continuing our walk. It was moments like these that reminded me how far I'd come. Back at my apartment, I reflected on everything that happened. I felt proud, strong, and most importantly, I felt like me again. The old Lily might have caved, might have given Jake another chance. But not this Lily. I was different now. Stronger, wiser, and ready for whatever life threw my way. As the sun set, painting the sky in shades of orange and pink, I knew one thing for sure. My story was just beginning. One afternoon, I was walking through the city, my mind on a new project, when I bumped into Jake. It was unexpected, and frankly, the last person I wanted to see. Lily, wait up! His voice was unmistakable. I hesitated, but then stopped. I turned around, my heart racing, but my face calm. What do you want, Jake? I've been thinking a lot. About us. About everything. I messed up, Lily, and I'm sorry. His eyes were pleading. Sorry doesn't change what happened, Jake. You left me alone, remember? I know, I know, and I regret it every day. Can we just talk? I crossed my arms, maintaining my composure. There's nothing left to talk about. But I've changed, Lily. I've realized how much I lost when I lost you. Good for you. But I've moved on. He looked desperate, like he was trying to cling to something that was no longer there. I miss you, Lily. Can't we try again? I don't miss the way you made me feel that night. You chose to walk away, Jake. Now I'm choosing to walk away from this. From you. I could see the realization dawning on his face. The fact that I was no longer the same person he left at that party. But I need you, Lily. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. You should have thought of that before. It's too late now, Jake. I turned and walked away, leaving him standing there. It was empowering taking back control of my life, my choices. Later, I heard about Jake's troubles at work. 
Turns out he was mixing personal issues with his professional life. He had become unreliable, his performance slipping. A colleague mentioned it casually over coffee. Did you hear about Jake? He's on thin ice with the boss. Rumor has it he might even get fired. Really? Can't say I'm surprised, I replied, sipping my coffee. It's a shame. He used to be such a rising star here. I thought about it for a moment. People change, sometimes not for the better. I couldn't help but feel a sense of poetic justice. Jake had made his choices, and now he was facing the consequences. For me, it was another reminder of how far I'd come. I wasn't just surviving. I was thriving, while Jake was falling apart. It wasn't my battle anymore, though. I had my own life to live, my own battles to fight, and I was winning them, one by one. It was the night of the awards ceremony. The room buzzed with excitement, the air thick with anticipation. I was there, among the nominees, for my innovative designs. This was a big deal, not just for me, but for my entire team. As I sat there, waiting for my category to be announced, my mind wandered back to the past months. The heartache, the growth, the hard work. It all led to this moment. And the award for innovative design of the year goes to Lily Thompson. I couldn't believe it. My heart raced as I made my way to the stage. The applause was deafening. Standing there with the award in my hand, I looked out at the crowd. Among the faces, I saw Ava, smiling proudly, and my colleagues, cheering. It was overwhelming. I want to thank everyone who believed in me, who supported me through this journey. I began, my voice steady. This award isn't just mine. It's for all of us who dare to dream and work tirelessly to make those dreams a reality. After the ceremony, at the after party, the celebrations continued. I was surrounded by my colleagues and friends, their congratulations and well wishes filling the air. Lily, you totally deserve this, exclaimed Ava, her eyes sparkling with excitement. Thanks, Ava. Couldn't have done it without your kick-ass self-defense classes, I joked. Oh, come on. You were a natural, she laughed, playfully punching my arm. As we chatted and laughed, my phone buzzed. It was a text from Tom, my colleague. Did you hear about Jake? He got fired for unprofessional behavior. Karma, huh? I stared at the message, a mix of emotions swirling inside me. There was a time when news like this would have made my day. But now, I just felt... indifferent. I put my phone away, not wanting to dwell on Jake's downfall. Tonight was about celebration, about moving forward. The night went on, filled with laughter, dancing, and toasts to the future. I felt light, free. The pain and hurt from the past were gone, replaced by a sense of accomplishment and a newfound respect for myself. As I looked around at the smiling faces, I realized I was exactly where I was meant to be, surrounded by people who valued me, who saw my worth and celebrated my successes. Jake was part of my past, a chapter that was now firmly closed. I had grown from the experience, emerged stronger and more resilient. My journey wasn't easy, but it led me to this moment of triumph. And I knew, deep down, that this was just the beginning. There were more challenges to come, more victories to celebrate. As the party winded down, I stepped outside, taking in the cool night air. I looked up at the stars, shining brightly above. Here I was, Lily Thompson, award-winning designer, a woman who faced adversity and came out on top. My future was bright, full of possibilities, and I was ready for whatever came next. It wasn't just the end of my old life. It was the beginning of something new, something fierce. I was down, but not out. This was just the start of my journey, a journey of self-discovery, of strength and success. The journey we've just witnessed in Lily's story raises an intriguing question that often finds itself at the heart of our own life's narrative. When faced with betrayal and disappointment, as Lily was, how do you choose to react? If you were in Lily's shoes, confronted with the pain of being let down by someone you trusted, would you have the strength to forge ahead, focusing on personal growth and self-improvement as she did? Or do you believe in confronting the situation directly, perhaps seeking a form of revenge or closure? This is a deeply personal and complex question. Do you align more with the idea of letting go and letting karma take its course, trusting that life will eventually balance the scales? Or do you believe in taking a more active role in seeking justice or closure in situations of betrayal? 
I'm really interested to know how each of you would navigate such a situation. Would you find the inner strength to move on as Lily did, or would you take a different path? Your insights and personal stories are what make these discussions rich and meaningful, so please don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments. And while you're here, if you found yourself drawn into Lily's story and would like to hear more tales that stir the soul and provoke thought, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. Your engagement and support are what keep these stories coming and our community thriving. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and get involved in the conversation. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to reading your comments and perspectives.